So Jason, let's talk homeowner's insurance. Sure. Um, so a lot of times when we get to the home insurance step of the home buying process, sometimes clients are a little confused. They think, well, isn't my home insurance included in my monthly payment? They think they don't have to do anything. And although your home insurance is included in your monthly payment, it's paid, the premium's paid out of your closing costs, you still get to choose who your insurance provider is gonna be. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how long have you been in the industry? Uh, so I've been doing insurance for um, right about 11 years now. I'm um, doing all personal lines, so auto, home, life, commercial, and retirement planning as well. Um, but with home insurance, it is important, and I do explain to people that, yes, while your home insurance is included in your mortgage, it's part of the payment, and you can lower or increase your payment based on the insurance that you get set up. Okay, cool. And what's the main purpose of homeowner's insurance? Um, home insurance is important because you're in, you know, protecting your largest asset in most people's lives and the biggest purchase, which is a home. Um, they're familiar with their auto insurance because it comes out of their bank account every month and they're driving their cars around every day. But a home, I find a lot of times is kind of it's out of sight, out of mind. They don't really yeah. worry about it until they need it. And um, so, but it's important to make sure that you have something that's good in place so that if something were to happen, you're not going to be stuck with any big financial catastrophes or mm -hmm. devastations that you've got to worry about coming up with ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 out of pocket because you're not properly covered from your home insurance. Mm -hmm. That's great information. Um, what's one of the benefits that people get by using a local insurance provider like yourself as opposed to a 1-800 number online sure. company? And that's true. These days, you know, people are looking for ease, um, automation. There's a lot of options out there, but I've always been an advocate for having someone local to go to just for the fact that they're going to be an advocate there for you to help you through claims process, answer questions with coverages that you might not be able to get. Um, or in my case, I get a text from a client on Sunday morning at eight saying, call me please as soon as possible. We've got you know a couple inches of water in our basement and they don't know what to do. So I can get on the phone with them, walk them through that process and what it looks like and help them get pointed in the right direction between working with a restoration company and the advisor or the claims adjuster once they get there too. That's great information. I know a couple of times um, when we're trying to close a loan and uh, clients sometimes don't reach out to their insurance quickly in the process. So I've had clients try and call 1-800 numbers in my office and we sit on the phone for 45 minutes um, getting through all the different steps. And I just think, man, it would be easier to talk to someone in yeah. person or even over the phone, but a local person that's actually gonna care about you and the service you're getting. Part of the issue too, they're doing that under the gun at the last minute rather than going into prepared is they're gonna probably most of the time be underinsured or not properly protected. Right. And I can't tell you how many policies I actually replace of people that closed two or three months ago on their home. And I'm doing a review, whether it's, I know somebody like yourself that has me get in contact with them or whatever, and they're, terribly set up and so coming in and actually showing them how and you're getting it a more coverage handled. exactly because yeah, that's and important that. very much so so going into that what's some of the key features you like to go over on a policy um, so there's a lot of different coverages that are built into a home policy obviously the one that people care the most about is they want to see that their home's properly protected so you've got that dwelling coverage and how much that's going to be taken care of a lot of the other levels of coverage on the home are based on that number for it. So you've got your stuff, you know, personal property. How's that protected? And you don't, people don't realize that that's a different figure than all your home coverage. Okay. So your clothes and your furniture and things like that. Um, another area that you really protect, um, pay attention to though is whether it's actual cash value or replacement cost. And that's a huge one. So if you see a home policy and it seems like it's quite a bit lower than what you've been seeing other places, there's a good chance they might have cut coverages in one area that I've seen that that's done is that you do actual cash value. So you'd be pretty upset if you had a house fire and your TV that you paid $1,500 for four years ago, they say it's only worth $100 now and right. that's you get to replace yeah. it. You're like, how am I supposed to replace that for? And I, I feel like there's a lot of confusion <laughs> on that because I hear a lot of people, oh, I have full coverage, so it should uh, be covered. You full know, the coverage term should full be coverage banned is. in the insurance industry. <laughs> we don't like it very much for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So having replacement costs is important because then you'll come in and you'll sit down with the adjuster and they'll have you create your list of things and that TV now, rather than getting $100 depreciated value, they'll say, we'll go down to the store, find out how much it costs to replace with something similar, oh. and then we're gonna give you that to replace it right. rather than the depreciated value for yeah. it, so you get new stuff. Right, <laughs> so it can be, um, there are some ways that you can move the numbers around in insurance to make your policy look cheaper even though you're not getting the quality and the coverage Correct. that people think they're getting. Correct, exactly. And they'll use the term full coverage, and so they think they're, they they're good to go. They are fully covered, just right. much, much lesser level, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome information, thanks yeah. Jason. No problem, thank you.